Y'all asked for a video talking about the best soft plastic trailers for a chatterbait. Let's talk about it. Now, why do you even need a trailer for your chatterbaits? Well, because these things were designed to be used with a trailer. And so if you don't, it's not going to look right in the water. For chatterbaits that are either green pumpkin or black and blue, I like to use a Strike King Rage Bug. By rigging your trailer vertical, it allows it to go deeper in the water column and looks more like a bluegill. And by rigging it horizontal, it allows the bait to stay higher in the water column as you retrieve it. And for bait fish imitations on the chatterbait, I like to go with a more slim swim bait or swim bait style that has no tail at all. I found that the bigger bulk of your swim baits actually take away from the hunting action a chatterbait comes out of the box with. And one of my favorite trailers for a white chatterbait is going to be the Strike King Swim and Shiner. And for any and all chatterbait colors, and no matter what they represent in the water, I throw a rage crawl on the back if I want the biggest presence, the most loud water displacement possible, especially rigged horizontal. It keeps it high in the water column and those claws get to going. At the end of the day, just make sure you're matching your trailer color to the main color on your chatterbait skirt and you're going to catch some fish.